Hello, I'm Jeff Power, Senior Writer with Real-Time Fantasy Sports, and welcome to another edition of the Real-Time Fantasy Sports Show. On today's show, I'm going to give you five of my favorite waiver wire ads for week three of the fantasy football season. Unfortunately, we had a few more injuries this week. We also had a quarterback benched as well, so people could be looking for options there. Uh, but I think there are some decent options this year, this week on the waiver wire for week three. So good luck in navigating there. And I'm going to give you five of my favorite pickups for this week right now. My first favorite pickup of the week is Samaj P. Ryan of the Chiefs. I know Carson Steele is getting a lot of love as well, but I think P. Ryan sets up best to be the go to back in this offense. I think Steele will be involved. But I think Pirine's more of a three down back, could be more effective in that role. So if I'm taking a chance on uh, one of those two Chiefs backs, I'm going to go Pirine. I, I think Steele's worth picking up as well, just from a speculative standpoint. But at this point, I think Pirine has the best opportunity there in that Chiefs explosive offense. It could just be a messy situation from week to week, though, with a lot of people getting various amounts of work in that backfield. But either way, uh, you're going to want, want the starting back and the guy getting most of the chances. And I think that could be P. Ryan. So if you're looking for a back, I would go grab him out of those Chiefs options. My next pickup is Quentin Johnston with the Los Angeles Chargers. So he's owned at about 30.5% of the leagues on our site. I think he might be finally putting it together. He had a huge game last week, five catches for 51 yards and two touchdowns. He has been targeted 11 times in two games. If I'm going to pick a uh, Chargers receiver to use in that offense, it's going to be Johnson. I think he has the most high, the highest ceiling out of all those options, especially uh, over Lad McConkey and Josh Palmer at this point. I just think Johnson's more of the big play threat, a good red zone target as well. So I think his targets could be going up as Justin Herbert becomes more comfortable with him in that Chargers passing game. My next pickup is actually one of my favorite players that I drafted all. Uh, this offseason before the season started, and that's Hunter Henry. I have a ton of shares of him. Uh, he's still available in roughly two-thirds of the leagues on our site. He's uh, owned on 36.6% of leagues, but he had a huge game last week. I think he's a top target in this Patriots offense. He caught eight passes for 109 yards last week. Uh, he's been targeted 15 times in two games. I really think he's a low-end, number one fantasy tight end. He's going to be getting a lot of weekly looks. I wouldn't worry too much about that week one game. I don't think he's going to do what he did last week every week, but I also think his numbers are going to be pretty consistent as the top target in this offense. My next pickup is Sam Darnold of the Minnesota Vikings. So he's owned in about on about 32.3% uh, of leagues on our site. He's really making the most of his opportunity to start once again. He led the Vikings to an upset win last week over the 49ers. He has multiple touchdowns each of his first two games. Scored 23.6 fantasy points last week against that very good 49ers defense. I think he's going to be worth some spot starts. So if you need a good backup QB, your backup QB has not been performing and you're worried about that position, especially with some quarterbacks that have been getting hurt. Maybe yours is next. Hopefully that's not the case, but... If it is, I think Darnold could be a guy that's worth some spot starts in this offense. He's looking really good to start the season. And my last pickup for week three is Alec Pierce of the Indianapolis Colts. He got picked up in some leagues last week, but he's still available in over half the leagues on our site. He's owned in on roughly 49.9, of leagues on our site. He has found the end zone each of his first two games. He has 16-plus fantasy points each of those games. I think he's the favorite target of Anthony Richardson. Michael Pittman's been a disappointment to start the year, but Pierce has been getting looks, some chances to make some big plays down the field as well. So I think he can keep producing in this offense. I really don't think these first two games are a fluke. I think Richardson really likes to look his way, so Pierce is worth adding in all formats, in my opinion. All right, those are my five favorite pickups. For week three of the fantasy football season, good luck in navigating those waiver wires this week and great luck in all of your fantasy games. This has been Jeff Power with Real-Time Fantasy Sports. Have a great day.